Isaiah. 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 We got a whistle. Isaiah's eyes cut badly. Oh, he took a blow to the head. Blood all over his forehead. It's at seven as Sellers gets it left corner. Fires no. Rebound Jordan. Kumar's oh. went down, knocked down by Jordan, and Mahorn took Jordan down. Rambit. And now let's watch it. Cooper and the Celtics, and now the bench is empty. Listen, man. First off, I just want to talk about hard fouls and what they represent in our league. Because a lot of people think hard fouls are just a player out here, irate, totally, you know, just, just on one, mm -hmm. knocking the crap out of guys. When really, a hard foul in our terms of how we use it in our league and professional ranks is just protecting the paint yeah. and setting a tone and making sure everybody understands that this, this paint is protected. And if you come in here, is repercussions. Yeah. Talk about that a little bit. Yeah, you're going to have to pay a price if you want to come in the paint. And it's not so much dirty as much as you're just trying to be really physical and let the guy know that there's going to be there's going to be consequences right. for you coming down and, and coming into our paint. And you know, it, the, the hard foul was was always used to make sure that those little guards who had a heart you coming in there, you had to make them decide, "Hey, what are you willing to do um, to get this two points? Are you willing to take a hit?" to get this two points. So you're sending a message, and it really bonds your team together. Nothing gets your team together more than a hard right. foul like Ooh, that because yes. everybody gets shoulder to shoulder. Yes. It starts, you know, starts knuckling up, and, and it, it's on then. And you have to protect yourself, and it gets antsy, and it gets contested, and it gets chippy and yep. guys, and you have to really band together and stand up for whatever it is. Yep. Next thing you know, I mean, it's, it's, it's really true testament to, oh, true testament to, uh, True testament to team, man. Yeah, I agree. And so, like I say, hard Ooh. fouls, it's not dirty as much as it's sending a message. And it's your team saying, hey, we're in this game to win. And you, if you want to beat us, you're going to have to pay a little bit of a cost to beat us. And right here, I think I think you're going to see. Right, know, right. That's just right. Mahorn and everybody <laughs> grabbing each other. <laughs> but Mahorn was the king of the hard foul. Look, look he know it. Look, yeah. he, he, he know it. The bad boys were something different. I, I, start, I start to see, <clears throat> when they start to implement a physical style to the game, I start seeing teams either back down or, if not, meet the challenge. Yeah. And the teams that met the challenge, it was a real war. It was a real series. Yeah. Obviously, teams that back down, it was the obvious. But yeah, teams, you, you got respect in that way, too. No question. Well, when you played against Detroit, they were going to hire five. They were going to do that stuff. But at the end of the day, I always said it came down to basketball, and I'd tell Mahorn and Lambeer, I'm a better basketball player than you. I'm going to bust your ass, and you can forget all the rest of this stuff because at some point we are going to play basketball. And it's going to come down to basketball. Yeah, exactly. Right. It don't come down to scrap, but it comes down to basketball. Yeah, right. Look at this. This is crazy. Shout out to the Hall Fouls out here, man. Right. Whew. Look at this, man. Right. Some of these players will be kicked out of the league if they're doing some of this yeah, stuff. You want, it? you want two points? Right. Come earn it. <laughs> right. And, and something comes with it. Look, yep. look at this. Classics.